Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we'll be doing the performance testing of the new Honor 90. So the Honor 90 comes with uh, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chip. Along with that it comes with the Magic OS 7.1 on top of Android 13. So let's see how good the performance is on this device. So the Honor 90 is the first device from Honor Tech in India. So they are coming back to India after a while almost like 4-5 years now. So they are making a big impact with a new mid-range device. So let's see how it performs in terms of uh, uh, the experience and also uh, the throttling test, the stress test, the CPU score, uh, the benchmark score and also the Geekbench test. So we'll be doing the, all these tests uh, on uh, the Honor 90. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So let's start off the test uh, with uh, the uh, the CPU throttling test. So we have the Honor 90 with us. So we just uh, show you this about phone. So you can see a Magic UI. Uh, Magic OS is uh, 7.1 and Android version is Android 13 and uh, this processor is Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 Accelerated Edition 8GB RAM uh, is the one included and we have enabled the performance mode uh, in case uh, you want to see the best performance out of this device so that's the uh, device and uh, we have the latest version of Android as well this is the Magic OS so let's start uh, with the CPU throttling test so uh, we'll just uh, set uh, the options so you can see here number of threads 20 and automatically end at uh, 15 minutes so that's the value we are going to test so let's start the test so that's the uh, cpu throttling test we are going to do so let's wait for this uh, result to come and see how the throttling is So now we have completed uh, the throttling test and you can see here throttle to 73% of its max performance. You can see here the minimum value, average value and max value. You can see here 73% uh, it's a decent performance I would say. Now we'll also test uh, it with the performance mode turned off. So right now we have enabled the performance mode. So we'll just test it once again with the performance mode turned off. So let's do the test once again with the performance mode turned off. So let's uh, set this parameter same and let's start the test once again. So now we have done the testing with the, uh, the performance mode turned off. Here again you can see a 74% throttling happening and it's kind of a decent experience I would say nothing exceptional. So this is the throttling experience, the max value and the minimum value. So this is how it performed uh, with uh, uh, the performance mode turned on and also the performance mode turned off. So let's next uh, go to the stress test. So let's get started with uh, the stress test. Uh, so we have installed the 3D Mark uh, uh, Wildlife Extreme uh, stress test. That's the one we are going to do here. So this is a uh, 20 round test uh, which will uh, test the stability of the device. Uh, alongside that, uh, it also will show you uh, the, the temperature rise uh, in the test. So we're just going to start this test. So we have 88% battery left. So let's start with uh, uh, this uh, test. So there you go, we just started this. So let's wait for this to complete and let's see uh, uh, the scores of the Honor 90 in terms of the stress testing. So now we have completed uh, the loop test. Uh, so best loop score is 821 and lowest loop score is 818. And you can see the stability is 99.6%, so extremely stable. But again, this is Snapdragon uh, 
7 Gen 1. It's not a very powerful chip actually. You can see here battery dropped from 88% to 82% and the temperature went up to 42 degrees. So let's see the temperature right now. So it's come down a bit after the testing. So 38 it is what showing but it went up to 42 degrees here and then now you can see here the frame rate. So this is the stress test the wildlife extreme stress test of uh, the Honor 90. So next let's move on to the Antidu benchmark score. So this is the Antidu benchmark score of uh, this device. You can see here 5,39,335. Uh, uh, you can see a CPU score, GPU score. It's not a very powerful chip. It's not uh, very close to the Snapdragon uh, 7 Plus Gen 2 or uh, the Snapdragon 8, uh, 8 Plus Gen 1. Uh, it's much lower here, almost close to 5.5 lakhs. Uh, that's the score uh, of this device. So that's the GPU score. GPU is in that powerful. The CPU is quite okay. The next, uh, let's uh, see the storage test as well. This is UFS 3.1 storage. So it should be pretty good in terms of storage. Though. So let's just quickly test uh, the storage. So it comes with basic 256 gigabyte uh, 3, UFS 3.1 storage. Let's see how uh, the values are. So you can see here 50,000 it's not again the uh, it's saying uh, in fact it is saying UFS 2x we are told that it is UFS 3.1 now we are not really sure why it is showing UFS 2.x but uh, again we will just quickly test it once again um, uh, uh, we were told that it is UFS 3.1 but again I will just confirm this uh, once again. Uh, So once again, you can see it's uh, closer to the 49,000. You can see here it's UFS 2.2. 2.x it is saying not uh, UFS 3.1 as mentioned by the company we are not really sure about that we will confirm once again. So that was uh, the test next let us uh, go to the uh, Geekbench uh, 6 test uh, so we will uh, open the Geekbench app and then we will uh, see the Geekbench results as well. So that was the benchmark uh, score, the Geekbench 6 uh, CPU benchmark score. You can see a single core score uh, as uh, 1075 uh, and a multi-core score is 2893. So that's the score of uh, uh, the Honor 90. And uh, you can see that uh, the processor details and uh, all the details available here. So that's the test. So uh, that's the performance testing of the Honor 90. So that was the performance testing of the Honor 90. So overall you can see that it's quite a decent performer uh, in terms of the mid-range segment. Uh, the throttling is definitely there but stress test it did perform pretty well and uh, the CPU scores, uh, the Antutu scores are not very high considering how other devices perform in this price segment. So all, also Honor 90 has some unique features, we'll talk about that in a different video. So what do you guys think about the performance of the Honor 90, do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is number signing off, thanks for watching, hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.